I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. And I want to bring some awareness to a pretty cool question. Why are we born? Okay, this is a big one. You know, lots and lots of questions, but why are we born is a really good one. So in my own experience of like working with thousands of people, but also uh, tracking energy, asking bigger questions. I've asked these kind of questions my entire life, which many people have. And in my journey of discovery, just, you know, learning who we are, what we're doing, why we're here, all of that good stuff. Um, the, the things that I have seen and unraveled and cleared, but also understood is the, the question is, why are we born? Okay. So if we start kind of like from the beginning, which is what I think is important to do, then we start to understand and have a better sense of why we are born. Okay. So way back, this is before planets, this is before anything was created. This is in that time when, and when creation itself, what we call God of awareness, the supreme being, supreme consciousness woke up. There was a frequency in that, that energy of awareness becoming aware and that energy created movement, okay? Once creation was in a state of creation, then other facets of creation began to separate in awareness, consciousness, okay? So it's like this, okay? Here's, here's consciousness. Let's just say this is consciousness. And then the us, all of us, we are the fingers of that consciousness, okay? Coming on down, separate, thinking we're separate, thinking, you know, we're all, all, all alone. And it's that energy frequency, that, that feeling of, it's like the core wound, the feeling of initial separation. In that initial separation, there is a feeling like totally alone, okay? Because that's all, all you are is your own awareness. The awareness is, is your awareness of everything that you're experiencing from a state of awareness, but not feeling that you are a part of, connected to. So in the evolution of our souls, the soul evolving, the journey has always been to come back into that oneness to where we're no longer separate from creation, the all that is, the awareness, the total awareness consciousness of creation itself. And when we began to take physical form, we weren't in human bodies. We were, we were things like amoebas. We were, you know, like the first energy frequency of matter of form okay one cell kind of stuff that as we kept continue to evolve and evolving more and more into the physical realm the physicality and then also beginning to take on more and more shape and forms ultimately when we began to become like the human beings that we are the human body um again keep in mind that every time those bodies would drop the spirit the soul that inhales that body would also leave the body, but also come back in and incarnate in a different way. In the soul's journey, our journey is to know ourselves in all ways. That's it, always. How else are we gonna know creation? Because everything is creation. There's nothing but that. So in that place of feeling we're separate, okay, we're gonna draw conclusions, we have these beliefs, we have lifetimes, and as we move forward in our soul's evolution and come more into like these last probably, you know, like maybe 40,000 years of humans, humans being on the planet um, and then coming more into the more recent couple thousand years, you know, 5,000, 8,000 years, when we really, really had all these belief systems, we began to be, be, believe different thoughts and feelings because we're trying to find answers, as we all do. We want to have answers. And in those answers, we create thoughts, falsities, false beliefs around religions and God and all of that. So ultimately, though, coming right back to why are we born? Because we are born to evolve and keep waking up and keep coming closer and closer to that godlike consciousness so that we can merge back into oneness. The thing is, is it isn't, we, we don't just come to the planet and just realize, oh yes, I'm creation and I'm all that and I'm just going to merge right back in. No, we have all this experience and conclusions that we have. For example, let's just say in, you know, way back in the live stream, you had experiences where even uh, nomadic times where people were 
hunter gatherers moving, you know, a lot of times people would be left behind or ostracized because they couldn't keep up, they couldn't do their part, so they were left to die. So that kind of emotion, when you're left to die on your own, there's all kinds of emotional frequencies. There's fear and the feelings that, you know, being abandoned. So we start creating these emotional frequencies of rejection, abandonment. There's something wrong with us. We're not enough. We're not loved. We don't belong. We don't matter. And we're forsaken. So all of these emotions continue to get carried over throughout all of our lifetimes until we literally know these emotions. In order to evolve, we, we have emotional frequencies that we need to know while in the body so that we understand that experience, we, we learn that experience, we grow from that experience, we evolve from those experiences, and we wake up more and more, and we begin to hold even more love and light which is what we already are, but now we begin to live it more fully. So when we have these experiences where we're believing, we go back to, you know, those nomadic days of hunter-gatherers, plans, that type of thing, and the, the energy of being rejected, we also begin to create beliefs around those experiences. Those beliefs and conclusions that we have also co-create um, angst in the body and beliefs around being victimized like someone's doing something to us. So we're, we don't have the training or the teachings or the understanding of who we really are. And therefore we become the victim and we begin to blame everybody else. It's your fault. You did this to me. You hurt me. Why is this happening? There must be something wrong with me. I must be born bad. All these beliefs that we have created in our subconscious that we carry over every single lifetime. So in that soul's journey of, of evolving and waking up to who we really are, we are going to have opportunities to discover our emotions, to discover where's our disconnect? Where are we still wounded? Where are we still believing there's something wrong with us or that we're not loved or that you know, we'll be rejected, okay? So what happens is, this is how things get carried over, and this is why we are born, okay? So let's just go back to that experience. Okay, so a person's rejected. They have a horrible, painful, slow-dying starvation, maybe injuries. And in that experience, they're pulling in and anchoring in the wounding about, I, you know, this I'm, it's painful. I'm alone, okay? So those emotions that when a being doesn't go through those emotions and know them fully, then they get anchored into the subconscious, which also comes forth into the soul imprint and then gets carried over into the next incarnation. Now, the reason this being is going to incarnate again is because now it's got these misperceptions and beliefs and it's really far away from creation. It's far away from God. Okay. Now, it, you know, soul levels want to get closer and closer to, to God, to creation. So now this being is going to reincarnate Okay, it's going to be born again in order to unravel those beliefs because those beliefs and experiences cause one to feel more separate, more alone, more victimized. Okay, and there's what happens. Born again, different group of people, different, you know, different bloodline, everything different, but memory gone, don't remember a thing, born in carrying over already, carrying over those frequencies that, you know, they've been abandoned and rejected and ostracized, okay? So that energy is in the soul imprint. They come into this world. Something will happen to activate that wound, to activate those emotions. So the, we don't know what it's going to look like, but lo and behold, something happens. And now this person again is feeling lost, feeling unwelcome, feeling unwanted, feeling ostracized, um, different scenarios, different situations. But what's happening is our higher levels, which we all have, are co-creating other higher levels to come together to, to create the scenario to activate this deep wound so that we can know it and move on. Okay, But we don't have these teachings. We don't know this. So we come back in. Oh, Mother rejected you, gave you away, whatever. Now we got more evidence that there's something wrong with us, more evidence. 
that we're damaged, that we're, we're bad, we're not loved, we're not wanted. Okay? Now, just imagine doing this hundreds, <laughs> hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lifetimes. Okay, So every time we have a life experience, we're anchoring in more proof, more evidence. We are concluding even more that, wow, yep, I'm a victim. Yep, people are going to hurt me. Yep, people are gonna, don't want me, don't love me. I don't belong here. I don't feel safe here. But see, we're still looking all out here. We're not looking in here. Okay. So we have many, many lifetimes, and we do continue to be born so that we can unravel and clear this deep core wound that we hold within our consciousness. Now, as we move forward in life, you know, come forward, 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 and coming more into these last several hundreds of years, now we really see greed, we see separation. We see prejudice, we see hatred, killing each other over religious beliefs, hurting each other, hating each other, okay? This is all because in our soul's evolution, we didn't unravel our core wounding. When we get hurt, if the heart closes, then we do atrocities to others. We do hateful, hurtful, mean, cruel things to one another. And then now we're looking at our world where we have landed now, okay? The good news is, is that we are in the precipice of the new, new paradigm, the new world, new earth, and the light has been shining now for a while, and it's going to get brighter and brighter. But what's happening is that light is literally extracting all those old woundings from way back that we didn't unravel and heal, it is bring it to the surface now. If you look at the world and see the chaos and again, the hatred and the prejudice and the greed and the lack and, and victimization, we are in the dark, really dark midst of all of that pain, okay? But what's happening, new paradigm, light, 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 shining on the wound, bringing it to the surface, and the world is playing it out. Everyone is playing it out, okay? We're acting it out. We're acting out all these deep, gnarly, ugly places within where we're still holding on to misperceptions, beliefs, conclusions that we're not wanted, we don't belong, all of those. So we will continue to be born until the soul finally wakes up and drops all of these misperceptions and wakes up and realizes who we really are. So here's the thing. Inside of every human being is the light. I have tracked this my entire life. I have tracked demons. I have tracked spirit beings that are not in physical form. Every sentient being has that light. That is creator. That is God. That is the light of creation. And it's inside of everyone. So what we're trying to do is live that light, bring that light forth and let that light shine and be the true being that we are. Okay. Just sharing the gift of who we are, being ourselves, telling truth, being real without fear that we're going to be hurt or punished or trashed, or rejected, or killed, okay, or hung, or eviscerated, or whatever, stoned to death, all those things that we experience, you know, that whole thing with each other. But it's now coming, um, with the new paradigm, we are coming to that place where now it will, it will become about the frequency of, of unconditional love and light. That is what we're moving towards. It's not here yet, but this is what the journey looks like for that to happen, okay? So as souls evolving, we want to know ourselves in all ways so that we know ourselves as creation, as God itself. Okay, now here's the thing. God doesn't have emotions. Okay? God doesn't have judgments. God doesn't have good, bad, right, wrong. You're not going to get persecuted. You're not going to go to hell or you're not going to be, you know, trashed because of who you are. It's all about a soul evolving, discovering who you are in all ways. And here's another thing. Every human being has darkness within and lightness within. We have the capacity to do atrocities to each other, and we have the capacity to have unconditional love for one another. It's us. It, we are that incredible full spectrum of all emotions, all frequencies within our own selves. As we clear out our wounding, the, the, the being rejected, okay? And then from there, that being began to hurt others, okay? And then more and more stuff got created, karma, all kinds of stuff. But ultimately, 
We are knowing ourselves in all ways and discovering who we really are, which is pure love and light. And in that, we can still hold the darkness. We can be in the midst of darkness, but we can still have that frequency, that knowing, and live that frequency and that consciousness of pure love and light. And in doing that, there's more compassion, more understanding, there's forgiveness, there's openness, there's acceptance, there's allowing, there's just being with isness as it is, which is part of our journey is to be able to live in these bodies relaxed in life, knowing that there's a much greater plan unraveling, and there's nothing for us to do, but just show up each day, just show up in authenticity, whatever that looks like. So everyone's in it. We're all in this, we're on a solo journey together, okay? We all want the same thing. We're all going to the same place. And most of humanity has no consciousness teachings about what we're really doing. So again, you know, why are we born? We are born to unravel, to clear, to become the lightest of light, the light, lightness that we are, the, the frequency of pure unconditional love, and finding our way back into the oneness of the all that is, which is pure awareness. There's no wounding, there's no poor me, there's no victim, there's no hatred, there's no prejudice, there's no judging. It's just pure, pure consciousness, pure awareness. And that is the soul's journey. And that is where we are all moving towards, heading towards. And here's the other thing, okay? You got eternity to wake up, all right? Take as long as you want, okay? Maybe you won't be incarnated here back on planet Earth, but you'll be incarnating somewhere, and eventually, all of us will be back home into the oneness. And that's what we're doing here on planet Earth.